Hi there Aquarius, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your next six months reading. Now Aquarius, late last year I did post the 2021 yearly overviews. This is like a check-in because energies can shift and change and just to give you a little bit more information as to how the months of the year could go from July round to December. So I will put the playlist up here. You may want to go back and have a look at your 2021 overview so you can see how it's played out to date and what might be in store for you. And then you can also review these against the weeklies and monthlies that I will be releasing, which is more of the how and why of how this might actually play out. Uh, before we get started, Aquarius, to let you know, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on TikTok. The links are below the video, including the link to my website, should you want to get a personal uh, reading or healing for yourself. I am available for those, and I would love to read for you. So let's jump into the tarot wheel, guys. Um, we have some amazing energies here. You have got a huge start to the six months here in your July and you have double Empress energy, guys. This is like wowzers. Can I just say wowzers? Uh, we have the beautiful star energy. Coming around in December, you have... Um, some amazing passionate opportunity here you also have some kind of major breakthrough major awakening happening in your I think it's your your October so let's jump in we're going to read the energies for each month I have a card from the Rider Waite and a clarifier from the Star Child Tarot sometimes more cards if more jumped out so guys as I mentioned you are kicking off July with double Empress guys Empress clarified with Empress like this is a huge blessing. Like when the Empress comes into a reading, she stands for abundance, blessings, um, what you've hoped, dreamed and wished for actually becoming a reality. And you got two of her. So some of you are getting your dream or wish coming through in July, guys. So you'll have to check in with me as to how this plays out. For some of you that are hoping to conceive, or give birth to a child, maybe some of you are actually birthing a child, that energy is with you. Highly fertile energy for you in July as well. So the Empress is the embodiment of the divine feminine energy. She wants you to receive what it is that you have been trying to manifest. It's a hugely creative energy. It's a brilliant month for birthing a new creative project, a new business, um, all of those kinds of things. Also a great month to connect with nature, to ground yourself, um, really get out there and, and be with the moon energy and the elements as well. Can link to Libra and Taurian energy. For some of you, you might be dealing with those signs. This it can also be an increase in money. And I'm looking at your next month and there is the Ten of Pentacles there. So something that you get off the ground in July, something that you make happen could be very, very financially lucrative for you and it could all start to pay in your, uh, sorry, this is your August, that was your July. So look at this. Got four cards here, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Swords and Seven of Swords. Somebody could be making you an offer of an opportunity, Page of Pentacles, new way to make money, a new job offer. Some of you are buying or renting, moving into a new home. And whatever this opportunity is, it has the ability to take you through to the Ten of Pentacles, which is one of my best life realities, right? It's having enough money, whatever that means to you, to live the kind of life that you've dreamed for. And for many of us, that's stable home, maybe living with extended family, being able to afford to have that extra child, beautiful retirement, all of those kinds of things, security, stability. So don't discredit this opportunity. Being a page energy, this can be the opportunity in its infancy, right? It can start with the seed of a conversation. Oh, that company's looking for um, somebody like you with your skills. Or, you know what? I just looked at a house. It's not fit for my needs, but I think it would be perfect for you when you're having lunch with a friend. Whatever the tip-off is, take it seriously because it can go all the way for you. 
Knight of Swords and Seven of Swords here. Knight of Swords is a Gemini energy for me. Seven of Swords can be somebody that might be in competition for this opportunity with you. Be mindful of people that might try and use under, underhanded or sly techniques in order to move in on opportunities. That is one explanation. Uh, the Seven of Swords can be that slightly sneaky, deceptive energy, guys. But it can also be your own self-sabotage, procrastination. These kind of behaviors, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing, that opportunity. Don't let that energy come in because this could be the breakthrough, the insight, the opportunity that you have been waiting for. So that's pretty exciting in your uh, August, June, July, August, yes, <laughs> September. Okay, September we have the star and the two of swords. Yeah, okay, so whatever that opportunity is for uh, in your August, it could lead you to the weighing up of options. It could lead you to having to choose between two paths or make a big decision. That's the Two of Swords energy. It's like, oh, I'm going to have to close one door to open another. I'm going to have to leave something behind in order to move through to the new. The star says, you know, if you make the right choice here, you have the opportunity to move towards what you have hoped, dreamed and wished and tried to manifest for some time. Stay grounded in your decision making. Make sure you make your decision from fact and logic. What are the pros and cons? What do you actually know here, Aquarius, about the, you know, the, the, the opportunity? But also your intuition. One thing we want to be careful is, 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 you know, can't talk, sorry, getting too excited. One thing you want to be careful about is allowing your emotions to get involved in the decision making for example if this is around a new investment or a home if we fall in love emotionally sometimes we can overlook seven of swords the parts of it that may not be in our best interest so keep grounded don't let the emotions cloud you blind you or trigger you in any way towards a knee-jerk decision the star is also your card, Aquarius. So whatever this is, it has the ability to bring you into power. Um, some of you might be getting an opportunity here where you can really rise to the top, right? Actually become like well, if this is a work opportunity, you might even become well known for whatever this is. Be seen and exposed, you know, be using your talent in a really positive way here. Star kind of quality. So... I love that for you. It's very exciting. October. October. Big awakening energy. This is judgment. It's called awakening in this deck. Ace of Swords, Page of Swords. So there's some kind of massive awakening that you're having here. Some big, big mo moment of clarity in order to move into the new. So this could be... If it, you know, sometimes it's going to be isolated incidents, but I always see the links that are playing out in these readings, and this can be the breakthrough and clarity that you need in that decision making that's been hanging over you from the previous month, and it starts to change your life in a new direction. Page of Swords. The Judgment card is this energy of: Are you going around for another cycle in the old or where you've been, or are you actually going to? move one part of your life to the world energy right massive completion so that you can start the new there's a really big sense of you really starting a whole new chapter or season in your life and there's victory ace of swords in knowing when it's time to make those transitions those karmic transitions some of you are being guided from beyond between the awakening card and the star card as well there is a sense of divine intervention here as well the, the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords can be the perfect communication or message at the perfect time in order to shift you into a new direction in your life. So pretty powerful energy, victory, coming to power, changing course here, also liberating yourself if you have been stuck in some kind of toxic cycle of the old. The judgment energy for me is about liberating yourself from what has kept you small or, or held you back. There is a sense in this reading of moving into a greater sense of vulnerability or self-esteem. 
being willing to willing to be seen exactly who you are and your authentic truth um, you know really rising above and that is going to allow you to shine that is what's going to allow you to almost be recognized is what I'm hearing if you do have a key talent because that just carries on here look November strength and the six of wands this is Leo energy for me when I drew the six of wands I heard public speaking public stage and that's start I'm coming back to that star quality so if some of you uh, have like a you're a musician or you're um, a speaker or you're stepping up into leadership or something like that there might be an opportunity in November where you need to be seen in that role and you're going to need to have the strength and courage to meet that challenge because it's your opportunity to go to another level to be publicly recognized for that skill and talent and it's this here is a card of victory as was the ace of swords so I feel like you will be victorious in that but you will need to fight the ego voices that are going to say oh gosh we can't do this um you know I'm not ready for this we need to bring that beast within under control right so we can really feel into the intuition because when we step up and we do uh you know um, showcase our skills and talent or speak in front of others we want to be in that flow state where it comes through from the heart and the ego is the one thing that will really put us um, into the, the mind chatter right it, it won't flow as well is what I'm trying to say the six of wands says that this is key in, in moving towards your purpose in some way so you might get new opportunities out of this is what I'm seeing you might be recognized somebody might even if you are single recognize you and make you an offer of love and passion in December guys because that ace of wands can be that lusty energy sexual chemistry all of those things could be a queen of cups male or female this is a water sign energy somebody who's all heart somebody who is high empathy grounded emotionally intelligent so there could be an offer from that person for you um the ace of wands can be a deepening in your spiritual awakening as well this could be also somebody recognizes you from that event that exhibition whatever it is that you're doing or even just the way that you handled a workplace situation you stepped up someone's going to offer you something out of that so it could be a promotion it could be a move to a role that is way more on purpose for you that you've got growth in right because there's a sense with the three of cups that you're going to be celebrating whatever this is and that it's going to allow you to plant new seeds to really grow this it could be that in the next season of your life sometime in 2022 you know you are really looking at what happened in these couple of months and that opportunity that all sparked from that thing that you did that you didn't really want to do that you didn't feel confident in, and then all of a sudden you're just like wow I'm so glad I did that because I've gotten this opportunity out of it and look where it's led me look where it's leading you but you will feel that real sense of um, accomplishment immediately with the three of cups um, this can be people celebrating with you recognizing you and all of that kind of thing so exciting energy in December to wrap up the year for you the Queen of Cups can also be you integrating more of the heart energy in yourself learning how to trust your intuition and instincts and allow that to guide you you know and really um, overcoming the battles of the ego also so Aquarius it is looking like a action-packed and exciting um, end of the year for you or second half of the year and I really do wish you all the best with it uh, do keep uh, keep looking out for the weekly and monthly readings because that's going to give you the how and why of how this is going to play out keep in mind that um, not all of the energies will resonate with everybody for every month you'll know if they do Drop me a comment guys if you're called to share. I do read them all and try to interact with you all over there. Helps me get to know you guys, connect through energy and see what the collective themes are. Wishing you so much love and magic Aquarius for the rest of the year. I'll catch you back here really soon. Bye for now.